Alright, this is setting up a Panasonic 65 inch plasma TV, 3D TV. And it's um, TC-P65ST30. Okay. And uh, we just got a HD cable box and a DVD player hooked up to uh, that boom box, which is the phono and a tape deck and CD player and whatnot. And as the speakers are on the right and left and the wire cover going down from the bottom, not hide the wires. All right, so first thing you wanna do is hit menu. All right, and you'll start from top to bottom. Go picture. And if you want to make it um, more richer in color, go to the right, to the right, and see how it changes. Okay, yeah. See the background? See how it's dull looking? Yeah. yeah. Brighter. And Vivid is the, um, you get the most rich colors from Vivid. So most people like Vivid. Okay. All right, so let's go down here. And there's slight snow in the picture, which is you know, which is uh, sometimes it happen happens, but um, here's um, this is uh, just the ambient light in the, in your room. You turn that on, and if the lighting in your room goes darker, the picture goes darker. All right, so let's go down here to um, advanced picture settings. All right, this is reduces the signal noise generated by the input devices. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that on, and now I'll clean up the picture. I'm gonna hit select. We go down, it reduces the HD flicker noise. Okay? Let's go ahead and turn that on. Now clean up the picture as well. And I hit select. And then go down again. And hit select again. And then go to the right, and let's put that on strong. Okay. And motion smoother, basically, it tells you a little description right down here what it does. All right, that's if you're watching sports, you have fast moving uh, action on the screen, it'll keep up with the action, you won't get um, that jagged edges distortion that you sometimes get with the fast motion. Or some people call it blur effect. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now you want to hit return, return, go down. And the sound right now isn't really that loud. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and hit uh, audio. Go down, 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 advanced. All right, AI sound. All right, this is the overall volume, levels everything. So okay. it's across all the inputs. So let's click that to the right. The surround enhances the sound. Gives it a nice little boost okay. of sound. And here, it's, here it's slightly louder. Mm -hmm. Bass boost, bass boost is obvious. I don't have to tell you that. Everyone knows bass is mm -hmm. more of a deeper tone. All right, back out of that. Back out, go down, and let's click on that. 3D settings, you don't really have to mess around with that too much. Move on auto. All right, language, clock, antenna, cable setup. You don't need that because you have a cable box. All right, uh, label inputs, HDMI one is cable box. HDMI two is not used, HDMI three is not used. So skip over those. That's not used, and that is your DVD. Um, DVD. And I recommend a Blu-ray player later on to replace. The Blu-ray players will uh, play DVDs, CDs, and Blu-ray movies. Okay. And they're like a hundred bucks now. Are right. they? Yeah. Hit or return. Go to image retention. Okay. Basically, what that does is so you don't get a burn-in. Prevents burn-ins. Scrolling bar is kind of like maintenance. So um, it tells you, like, and you can do this like once a year, mm -hmm. and it's it cleans up the picture. So the, um, I'll show you what it looks like. That's all it is. That's a scrolling bar. Yeah, it just cleans up the picture. Okay. You do that once a year. It's like maintenance, I guess. Okay. Go down. That's network settings. If you want to connect to the internet, I would suggest hardwired or a net. Um, 
Netgear power line adapter is pretty uh, useful gadget. All right, back, down. Viralink. Viralink is uh, if you had a a Viralink Panasonic Blu-ray player mm -hmm. or surround sound, it'll, the TV will turn on the surround sound, and if you turn off the TV, the TV will communicate with um, the surround sound and tell the surround sound to turn off. So they work in synchronized. All right, back out of that. Echo mode. All right, no signal. You have the power. TV will turn off by itself in 10 minutes if there's no signal. So if you have the cable box off and there's nothing going on, on the screen, okay. it's going to turn off by itself. Okay. Back out of that. Uh, and first time setup. No, we already did that. Uh, auto power on. Alright, let's back out of that. Back out of that. Back out of that. Alright, so everything's fine tuned on that. So, the next thing we want to do is fine tune the cable box. So, hit cable, settings. Alright, go right, 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 right. Or it says HD. Go up. Yeah, I want to only select 1080i, which is the top resolution. Then hit the button. Get out of that. That's fine. 16 by 9. That's fine. Click to the right. I'm going to do display. All right. Power on channel. You want your power on channel to be go straight to the HD channels. Yeah, 1010. Can, can you want can that? Make, yeah, 1010. Yeah. Yes, she likes to wake up to the news. So. Okay, and then yeah. hit select. <clears throat> Once you hit select, then you hit C. <coughs> and then what we want to do is uh, hit out of that, hit settings, exit. All right. Okay. Um, also, I have this connected, which is, uh, let me get my flashlight. And this is how this is connected. So these cables on top, the red, white, and yellow. Okay. That goes up to the stereo, okay. and then I got the HDMI going straight to the TV input. Okay. okay, and the reason why I have that is so if uh, you can have the TV volume, mm -hmm. okay, and if you want that extra boost of sound, you can lower the TV volume. I got to program that still, and I'll show you what I did here. So this is just like a boom box, I guess. And I plugged the cable box into line input on the boom box and then uh, basically the only thing I did and then the only thing I did here is turn that switch to activate that and then down there I hooked up the speakers that you see here okay and then I had to hit that switch where it says, I don't know if you can see it, here it says external, internal. Okay. So it wasn't working before, so on that, so I had to turn it. Now it's external speakers. Mm -hmm. This boombox has internal speakers. So it's not working, that's why. So now, let's go ahead and Lower that TV volume because we're going to get an echo effect if we use the TV volume and the boom box. So let's turn that on. A plus, a must see. The film that touched the hearts of moviegoers everywhere. Courageous, now on demand. Hear the difference? Yeah. Big difference, right? Yes, sir. Eyes of Marge. My brain trust. Can't lose. Experience the film Rolling Stone calls. All right, so you, if you have both of them on, you're going to get an echo. So if the TV volume... The Eyes of March, now on demand. On demand, powered by Bright House Networks, also offers shows from That's premium channels speakers. like Showtime and Stars as yeah. part of your subscription package. Showtime on demand is the place for great original programming and big movies. Bang! Big one, baby. It's the new Showtime series about sex, lies, and management consulting. They think they need us. Has 
That's what we want, baby. Oh, hello. You're the mad genius for paying all this money for. Don Cheadle and Kristen Bell star in House of Lies. And welcome back to Gallagher family. It may be a brand new season, but don't worry. You were getting a little bit of distortion there. Uh huh. Yeah. With the loud. Yeah, so you, what you want to do is you want to keep this down and have this up. With Showtime On Demand, you can always catch up on episodes you may have missed. It sounds a million times better, don't you think? A good day. And turn to show Much better. All right, so anyhow, that's how you do it. And uh, if you want this on surround sound, okay. this has to have um, the red and white cables mm -hmm. hooked up to here. All right. Okay. But uh, otherwise, you usually watch the cable box more often than none. Yes. Okay, never mind. And then it has the music channels and everything else on here. Yeah, I got the, the VHS DVD because I, I collect old movies. Yeah. Yeah, down there and up there. And I probably got three, four hundred of them. All right. Just like play them once in a while. And then uh, set up this one. You hit TV and you hold down TV and OK. By Bright House Networks, All right. So that's where it is. It tells you right there. And hit channel up. Every time you hit channel up, it's gonna scan for new codes. Like Sony, uh, Vizio, you know, Samsung, mm -hmm. Panasonic. But you keep on hitting channel up until the TV turns off. Eventually. Maybe not. There's like 200 codes in this remote, so. Uh -huh. Hopefully, I don't look stupid and it would be the 200th <laughs> code. <laughs> No, my luck. I was, I was born the 13th, so. Go for Were it. you? Yeah, so you can figure how much luck I have. Yeah, all right. All right, so it looks like it's going to be the 200th code. Come on. Oh, uh, I pressed it too fast. Now, if you pre pressed it too fast and you skipped it, mm -hmm. what you could do is reverse the code by hitting channel down. Okay. And then channel down. Yeah. Channel down. Can you figure out which puzzle piece fits? Channel down. Channel down. Channel down. Channel down. Channel down. Or channel back up. Come on. Put on your PJs and cuddle up with your Sproutlet. We're throwing a pajama party on Sprout On Demand. Got it. And then you just hit the device button. Only on Sprout On Demand. And with kids on demand, in these And then now you go. Heroic Autobots must battle the evil Decepticons to save the Earth from destruction. Transformers Prime on the Hub On Demand. TV. Back to that puzzle. Power. Did you figure out which To turn it off. Right there. Mm -hmm. All right, now to turn it back on, hit TV, power, turn it back on. TV volume up, volume down. Let's lower the volume. Okay. okay, now channel, you do channel up, whatnot. If you want to change the input, hit TV, and then hit video source. And then you could change it to video, and then do that. Okay. And then you could open up the DVD player. Video source. Okay. There you go, and just put a movie in and test that out. And then go back to TV and cable mm -hmm. and TV, and then video source again. And then every time you hit video source button, it toggles it. 